Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be talking about how to memorize the top 200 drugs. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who may find it helpful too. And if you would like to have lifetime ad-free access to my pharmacy learning videos and handouts of all my slides, please consider enrolling on my online course today. The link's in the comments and in the description. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So I'll first begin with what is the top 200 drugs list? A top 200 drugs list is a collection of the most commonly used medications in the United States. And there is actually no single top 200 drugs list. Different groups create their own lists based on the data they use to determine the top drugs and the most current information they have. The top 200 drugs lists they change over time because new drugs are developed, existing drugs are discontinued, and prescribing patterns shift over time. So what is the purpose of a top 200 drugs list? A top 200 drugs list is often used as a reference by a variety of students and healthcare professionals, including doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and pharmacy technicians. Studying or memorizing a top 200 drugs list helps to ensure that healthcare professionals are familiar with the most commonly prescribed medications and their uses. So before we look at how to memorize the top 200 drugs, we'll look at how not to memorize them. So number one, don't memorize them in order. You don't need to know the order of the drugs on the list. What you need to know is more information about a drug when given one piece of information about it. So for example, when given the generic name of a drug, what is the brand name or the indication? And number two, don't memorize them independently. Don't begin by trying to memorize each individual drug. The best way is to start with a group of drugs that have the same indication and are in the same drug class. Some drugs on the top 200 list won't be grouped together in a class, so these will have to be memorized independently, but a large portion of the drugs can be grouped together by class. So now we'll look at how to memorize the top 200 drugs. Number one, memorize the drugs by indication and class first. As I've mentioned, you don't want to start by memorizing individual drugs, but we're going to begin by classes. So begin by memorizing drugs together by indication and drug class because there are similarities in the ending of the generic names. So these are called suffixes, and that's based on the drug class. So for example, some drugs for high cholesterol are in the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor class, and all of their generic names end with the suffix statin. So a good place to start with this is in my top 200 drugs presentation series videos that are by class, and I'll put the playlist link in the description. So number two for how to memorize the top 200 drugs, learn each individual drug within a class. So after becoming familiar with drug classes and suffixes, learn each individual drug by brand and generic name within a class. So we'll continue with our um, statin example. So once you know that drugs that end in statin are HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors for high cholesterol, then you can focus on each individual drug. So for example, atorvastatin is Lipitor, is the brand name, simvastatin is Zocor, and rosuvastatin is Crestor. And for doing this, my top 200 drugs flashcards by class videos can help. And I'll also put the link for that in the description. So number three, once you have the individual drugs memorized by class, study them in a mixed order. Videos like the ones I've created of the top 200 drugs in different orders, such as by most popular or by alphabetical order, can be helpful. And the links to those videos will also be in the description. And printable or written flashcards can also be helpful for studying this way, where you can physically mix up the order. And there'll be a link in the description to my course that includes printable flashcards that I've made that are a good way to study this way. And number four, for miscellaneous drugs that aren't in a common drug class, repetition is key. So some drugs will need to be memorized individually. There isn't always a suffix that indicates the drug class and indication. Flashcards are especially helpful for miscellaneous drugs. Uh, make two separate PALs as you go through them ones you know and ones you don't, and then you can spend more time reviewing the ones that you don't know. So that's a good way to get some extra time focusing on ones you don't know as well. And number five, use practice quizzes to test your knowledge and identify areas where you need to improve. So quiz videos like the ones I've created of the top 200 drugs, quiz number one and quiz number two, can be helpful to see what you do know, what, what you are remembering. And the links to these video quizzes will also be in the description. 
Now we'll just look at a summary of how to memorize the top 200 drugs. Number one, memorize the drugs by indication in class first. Number two, learn each individual drug within a class. Number three, once you have the individual drugs memorized by class, study them in a mixed order. Number four, for miscellaneous drugs that aren't in a common drug class, repetition is key. And number five, use practice quizzes to test your knowledge and identify areas where you need to improve. And remember, the key to memorization is repetition and practice. So I hope these tips are helpful for studying and learning the top 200 drugs. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you would like to have lifetime ad free access to my pharmacy learning videos and handouts of all my slides, please consider enrolling in my online course today. The link is in the comments and the descriptions. Thanks, I really appreciate it.